As Americans, we all share in the rights guaranteed to us as U.S. citizens by our Constitution. Along with sharing those rights, we all share the responsibility of being good citizens. Today, I would like to tell you about one of our nation's greatest citizens, a man who pioneered some of the basic services and freedoms that we take for granted in our everyday lives. This person is one of my personal heroes, Benjamin Franklin. Of all the founding fathers, Franklin has the unique distinction of having signed all three of the major documents that freed the colonies from British rule and established the United States as an independent nation. These documents are the Declaration of Independence, the Treaty of Paris, and the United States Constitution. A true rebel, even when he was in his 70s, Franklin was an outstanding founding father. But today, I would like to tell you about Citizen Ben, a righteous, responsible man. Among other things, Ben Franklin was a great thinker. He actually developed a club called the Junta Society so that he and his friends could get together and talk about issues like rights and responsibilities. The members of Junto were drawn from diverse occupations and backgrounds, but they all shared a spirit of equality and a desire to improve themselves, their community, and to help others. The Junto's Friday evening meetings were organized around a series of questions that Ben devised, covering a range of intellectual, personal, business, and community topics. These questions were used as a springboard for discussion and community action. This club became the American Philosophical Society, which became a respected intellectual institution and still exists more than 200 years later. Ben Franklin believed that people volunteering together in the spirit of cooperation could accomplish great things. Driven by a strong sense of civic responsibility, he involved himself in his community and in his nation. In revolutionary times, vandalism and theft were often a problem in the evenings. Unfortunately, many of the town's constables who patrolled the cities were often drunk. Benjamin Franklin proposed a plan in 1757 that city watchmen be regulated by the assembly. This led to the development of a municipal police force. The role of the police in our society today is to help protect and enforce our rights. Franklin organized the first firefighting club in 1736. Members took a vow to help fight fires if a fire broke out in one of their homes or businesses. This idea took hold and soon volunteer fire companies began to spring up all over the cities, protecting lives and property. Being responsible about the safety of our community was what the fire companies were all about. Although Ben Franklin excelled as a businessman, scientist, diplomat, and inventor, he considered himself first and foremost a printer and publisher. As publisher of the Pennsylvania Gazette, Franklin established a style of journalism that became the foundation for modern American news coverage. He felt the pressure to examine more than one side of an issue and to publish different points of view. Franklin believed that he should print the truth, even if it was unpopular. He eventually became one of the most influential prints, printers and publishers in the colonies. As the colony's first postmaster, Ben reorganized the entire postal system, set up regular postal routes, cut delivery time in half, and established a standardized rate structure. The systems that he put in place were the foundations for the United States postal systems. Communication among people is vital in protecting civil rights.
At the time of Benjamin Franklin, private libraries were common for the rich, but poor people had no access to books. In 1731, Franklin suggested the idea of a subscription library. In his idea, members would pool their money to buy books, which they could all share. This concept led to the first public library in the United States. Reading helps people to share ideas and also helps them to promote civil rights. This is Pennsylvania Hospital. In 1751, Franklin helped to found the Pennsylvania Hospital. This was the first public hospital in America. Before this time, there was no public medical help available to the poor or to the mentally ill. Pennsylvania Hospital was a model for today's public and municipal hospitals. Ben Franklin always felt the responsibility to fight for civil rights. In 1787, at the age of 81, Franklin was elected the president of the first anti-slavery society in America. This was called the Pennsylvania Society for Promoting the Abolition of Slavery. Now Franklin spent the final years of his life writing essays and letters to newspapers attacking the horror of making traffic of the person of our fellow man. Franklin recognized that freed slaves could not fend for themselves without help. So he also advanced the idea that slaves needed to be educated in order to become contributing members of a free society. This is Benjamin Franklin's grave. For Ben, good citizenship was a way of life. He continually saw ways to solve problems and improve life for his fellow citizens. Always mindful of his responsibility to the greater good, Franklin helped establish or improve institutions such as circulating libraries, public hospitals, volunteer fire departments, and also intellectual societies. Ben Franklin died here in his beloved Philadelphia in 1790 at the age of 84. But the story does not end here. His legacy carries on. A role model to May, Ben Franklin helped to design, define good citizenship, respecting the rights of others, and continuing the responsibility to improve our community. Thanks, Ben.